approaches and landings in low visibility by day. Initial contact height, 310 feet. Runway visual range, 1,000 meters. IKO category one, low visibility conditions. The pilot is using manual control for the approach and landing. The lower limit of category one is internationally accepted as the operational minimum for simplex flight director or autopilot approaches using barometric height. Visual contact. The pilot now has about 12 seconds to make any lateral correction before starting to flare. The number indicates the height of the aircraft in feet, measured by the radio altimeter. Initial contact height, 160 feet. Runway visual range, 700 meters. Near the upper limits of IKO category two. On this approach, conditions are even worse. The pilot is flying the aircraft through the flight director system. Failed passive flight director or autopilot approach systems are required to allow approaches down to decision heights of as low as 100 feet radio height. The pilot corrects any lateral displacement once sufficient visual contact with the approach lights is established. Initial contact height, 130 feet. Runway visual range, 400 meters. Near the lower limits of IKO category two. On this approach during trials at the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford, the aircraft is again flown manually. Most civil airlines are cleared to operate in category two conditions using failed passive autopilot approach systems and suitable crew procedures with reversion to manual control at or before decision height. Very little time is available to correct lateral displacements before starting the flare, and considerable accuracy is required of the approach system. Initial contact height, 60 feet. Runway visual range, 200 meters. Category three with decision height. Conditions are even worse. Although a large number of manual landings have been safely achieved in RVRs down to 150 meters at RAE Bedford, the pilot must generally rely on fully automatic approach and landing systems and specific crew procedures. Airlines in the UK have been cleared for operations down to minima of 50 feet and 250 meters using failed passive airborne systems and category two ILS ground stations and further reductions are being considered. A glimpse of the final approach lights is obtained but the first useful visual contact is with the white painted threshold markings. Markings are generally more useful than lights in daytime fogs. Category 3B, corresponding to a minimum visual range of 50 meters. Another fully automatic approach and landing. For civil aircraft to be able to operate regularly and safely in such conditions, Fully automatic approach and landing systems are essential, in which a single failure does not affect any aspect of performance. Such high integrity fail operational systems currently equip a large number of modern aircraft from delivery and are an accepted requirement for international scheduled airlines. Approaches and landings in low visibility by night. Category one, and an approach in shallow, patchy fog at night. These conditions occur during the formation period of the fog. The visual segment, the length of the lighting bounded by the cockpit cutoff, 
and the most distant light visible to the pilot is large, about 1,050 meters at a wheel height of 280 feet. Visual segments are generally longer at night for the same fog conditions. Category 3B, runway visual range 150 meters. In such conditions of shallow and patchy fog, the pilot can make visual contact early in the approach. And he could assume he would have a large visual segment to touch down, but for the reported RVR. Four crossbars are still visible at a wheel height of 250 feet. As the aircraft approaches the fog tops, however, the visual segment shortens, and at 150 feet, there is barely 150 meters of approach lighting visible. Category 3B, runway visual range, again 150 meters. On this approach, the fog is deeper, and because of this, the visual sequence experienced by the pilot is different. The first visual contact is established at 170 feet but only brief glimpses of the lights are possible down to 70 feet. Contact is momentarily lost until the runway lights are again visible at 40 feet. The remaining two approaches highlight conditions of shallow, patchy fog and deeper fog for a visual range of 90 meters. Again, after earlier visual contacts, the visual segment shrinks and disappears. Contact is not really established until the aircraft crosses the threshold. Runway visual range, 90 meters, near the lower limit of category 3B and with conditions of deeper fog. This filmed sequence of approaches in various low visibility conditions enables pilots to experience the changing visual sequences associated with different fog conditions. <laughs>